Chris, can you talk with us for a while about vegetarianism? Oh, I would love to. It would be my pleasure. So, when I think about being a vegetarian, um, first let me throw this out here. I don't really like to, to label people as to vegetarian, vegan, vegan ovo-lacto vegetarian, all of those things. I don't think it's real important, but I think sometimes just referring to certain levels of vegetarianism can be important in trying to understand where you may fit if you think that being a vegetarian is something that you might want to do. There are generally five pretty basic reasons why a person might want to become a vegetarian. Um, first of all, let me talk a minute about health care. That's probably first and foremost number one reason why people consider being a vegetarian now because we are finding out that our meat-based diets are linked to so many diseases. We got high blood pressure, we have certain types of cancers, we have diabetes, we have obesity rates that are just astronomical anymore, and those are definitely connected to meat-based diets. Uh, back in the 80s, there was a lot of research that had been done by medical doctors showing how cholesterol only comes from animal products. Only uh, the, and that's the bad cholesterol too. So we know what happens with cholesterol. It creates heart problems, and I believe heart disease is still the number one killer in the United States. Plant-based diets um, contain everything, all the essential nutrients, the minerals that you need in order to keep your body running at an optimal level all day. Um, healthy living. Um, I think you can start in at being a vegetarian at just about any level. Um, right now, if you are eating regular meals with meat and so forth, you may want to start by uh, looking at a lot of the meat substitutes that are out there. They're real tasty. Try to introduce that into your diet a little bit, see how it works for you. Uh, the second reason why people may want to be a vegetarian may be in terms of uh, religion or spirituality. There are several different um, religions uh, that do promote vegetarianism simply because they are looking at putting more kindness and compassion in their lifestyle. Um, Jainism is a uh, religion that has been around for oh, thousands of years and they believe in protecting all species not just farm animals which we think about in terms of vegetarianism um, but insects and little rodents and all different types of animals they believe that every species is entitled to a life on earth so that's two. That's health reasons, spirituality, and religion. The third is aesthetic reasons for being a vegetarian. And by that I mean that people can envision a farm, a pastoral scene with sheep grazing and so forth, and it's hard for them to think about those same lovable, cute animals that are essential to basic life on earth here as being something that may rest on your dinner table. Uh, it's hard, to, hard for some people to get the idea that eating an animal, a dead animal, could actually be ingested and sitting in your body somewhere. That whole idea of aesthetics is strongly appealing to a lot of people. Um, and when people do talk to me about this concept, I will say to them, well, you know, when I think of aesthetics, I, I think about um, integrity of thought. I think about our thoughts being harmonious and if you feel like you want peace of mind, if you want serenity in your life, you're going to eat cruelty free, you're going to eat uh, guilt free, and you're going to eat a meal where you are not worried about how did this product arrive on my plate. So. The fourth reason, then, would be environmental reasons. Um, and I think a lot of people have read certain things about how <clears throat> agricultural practices are very detrimental to our environment. Uh, if you look at what it takes to raise a hog or a cow, you're talking about an amazing amount of resources. Uh, you're looking at the crops. Um, most animals are fed grain now. So the 
crops that are raised generally come from some sort of a monoculture and take hundreds of acres of land, they take irrigation, they're usually fraught with pesticides and chemicals and so forth. All those resources go into growing just the grain that is fed to the animals. Then you think about the animals themselves, what it takes to care and feed them on a daily basis, all the water that is needed, because if an animal isn't outside grazing, they're gonna need additional water for hydration. So that is a big thing. Then when the animal is big enough and mature enough to be slaughtered, think of what may go into that processing. The slaughterhouse, the transportation there, the processing, and finally all of that, that cutting and transporting and everything else where you finally find a styrofoam container with a piece of plastic over it and that's in your grocery store meat case. Lots of things that go into that. I think if you are truly thinking about the environment at heart, um, you will consider being a vegetarian because it's one of the ways that each one of us can individually pursue responsibility for climate change. Okay, excellent. And then the fifth reason, which I'm going to just briefly go into, is something that's near and dear to my heart, and that is uh, animal um, justice, um, animal rights issues. Um, animal cruelty is just uh, such a, a horrid thing. Um, the Dalai Lama and Pope Francis have both come out and said that our factory farms are inhumane. We shouldn't support them. We should definitely boycott any meat that comes from that sort of situation. If at any time you ever have an opportunity to go into a factory farm and see what exactly happens to those poor animals, nine times out of ten that will convince you that being a vegetarian is something that you need to do. No one can live with that kind of thought. It's nightmarish. Um, so anyways, those are the five reasons that uh, people may choose to be a vegetarian. Um, health reasons, aesthetics, environmental uh, concerns, um, religion, spirituality, and uh, animal rights. Um, if you are looking to be a vegetarian, I am also uh, part of a group in Youngstown called Vegetarians of the Greater Youngstown Area. We have a great Facebook with a Facebook page with a lot of different resources there. We have recipes. We support businesses that support the vegetarian cause. So turn on to our Facebook and uh, you know, uh, take it from there. Please feel free to comment. Give me uh, your feedback if you'd like more info. I'll include a link to the Facebook page for the right. vegetarian group okay. in the um, I hope I didn't go on too long, too long. No, you didn't. As a matter of fact, I have one more thing to ask you. Oh, okay. Um, a lot of people, when they approach vegetarianism, think that they need to just forego the centerpiece of a meal and sit around eating side vegetables. Um, can you suggest some, some sources for recipes? I know you mentioned the Facebook page in the group. Um, could you suggest some publications? Um, well, actually, yes. I, I do happen to have some with me right now. I would suggest that for anybody that wants to start, as well as maybe some seasoned vegetarians, go on the website for Vegetarian Times. They put out a wonderful magazine every month that talks about all kinds of great um, meals, um, how to uh, present your meals in a very artful, creative fashion or down-home fashion. They also have a great publication out called the Vegetarian Starter Kit, and that gives you all the information that you need about minerals, about calcium, about that question that I hear all the time, what about protein? Um, and it also lets you know that there's a lot of things that are just so appealing and so delicious out there. After you get used to checking it out and being open-minded to the resources out there, uh, you will wonder why you ever sat around that big turkey at your Thanksgiving table again. So, uh, will that do it? Yes. That. Thank you very much. And we will uh, look forward. I'll include a link to Vegetarian Times.
Excellent. in the description too. Great. And we'll look forward to getting an update from you in about six weeks. Sounds good. Okay, thank you.